welcome to this Forge Lines Forever cast. This is the WWPC Under 1900 Best of 5 Final, the first game. And we got two Cyber and Ladder Whores in TA for Life here as T A P A K A H B L 4 or B I 4. TA for life. You all know who he is. A nexus of reality. In his blue color that he's always in. The really annoying blue color. TA in yellow. And we're on Loki. The classic 1v1 map. Probably TA's choice. He used to pick this against me when we played these WWPC games. It is probably his best map. So, engineer slightly delayed to these trees because he goes for a lab. Nexus, ooh, second land. And the NGs have not left the base yet. So, this lab will have. Nothing to find for a while. Now this guy's moving off, so he's gonna be the target. And that looks pretty good for TA. TA is walking. Oh, that's uh, that's a bit weird. But TA's gone second air. He's not assisting his ACU. Mantis is not very diligent. Just kind of sitting there. The lab hasn't actually achieved anything. But at least it's not dead yet. So we have a lot of Mantis out already for, for uh, Nexus. A lot. Six Mantis, seven Mantis this early is quite, quite strong. And CTA has just two. And that's the advantage of second land and also the advantage of assisting your ACU in that opening build order. So TA is faster to this expansion. This raid isn't going to work out. Well defended. But I would like, considering he went sick in land, I would like much more aggression with these land units. Should be trying to raid. Mantis should be Running across the map, trying to get stuff done. So TA, oh, he's paused his air. But he's gonna have this hydro quick, thanks to the ACU being down here. Nexus, I think, doesn't know that the ACU is here. Otherwise, he could be more aggressive on this position. Than he normally would be. And if you had these eight mantis just running this way rather than to the top, that would be much better, I think. Running down here, he can't actually deny this as he usually would because TA's ACU is here, so a bit of scouting, and he could really take advantage of TA's calm movement at the start of this game. But it's very unusual to have an ACU here, so he's obviously not expecting it. NG at the bottom dies here before he can even build all the Nexus. Or crucially get a PD. That's good for Nexus. He did just force an air fight and lose it. So that is obviously quite detrimental. Saves this engineer, that's quite huge. I think he should assist it with the Mantis and uh, get that PD up. Oh, this, this bomber is going to be nice. That guy just... Hmm. Nice bomb. Now will these NGs be found? Well, there's the air scout. And the NGs... 
one will survive. But the factory is denied and the expansion is denied for now. So this is what Nexus was trying to do with some units over here. But of course the ACU is here, so uh, no chance for that. He will secure this stream X expansion with his ACU. And he has T2 land. Wagner's coming out now. Still have T1 land for TA. We have a T2 mechs for TA. Now we have two T2 mechs. Nexus has mass in the bank, so he is going to be able to get the, the second mechs fast and catch up. That's a good PD. Can this Wagner just slip into the water here? That's going to be quite painful. He can lose all this to a signal Wagner, I think. And that was a transport getting shot down, I think. But the NGs. I think he just dropped those NGs out of this transport before he lost it. Here comes the Wagner. Extremely annoying unit to deal with. This pond is uh, so so helpful for Wagners. You can just come out, raid, hide in the water. It's very difficult to kill you. Kill the Wagner. And you just come out periodically to re raid and go back in the water and uh, hide. Still, only Wagners. You can see people just make a few Wagners at the start to get that rating in and get set up in some ponds maybe and then move to the normal Rhino Medusa combo but not now we've just got just got Wagner's coming out I would like to see scouts mixed in because as you can see vision radius is very small for a Wagner if they don't have radar coverage, they're in big trouble. They lose a huge amount of range. So Nexus is well behind in air. He does have, I think, quite a good advantage in T2 land. TN out is going for the Rhino Medusa combo. Maybe we can see how that fares versus the Wagners. Nexus is in this position. He will have to get past his PD. I'm not sure if he has an upgrade. The problem is he's he's been spotted. TA knows he's vacated this position. There's no PD and there's no anti-air here, so this should be raided and killed right now. Please TA do it. Come on. I suppose he can just let the gesture do it, but he won't be able to take a long time to kill a factory with a gesture, though. And the Inties take care of him. Nexus has gone T2 air. He's got a sizable amount of Inties considering how far behind he was earlier. Still just Wagners coming out doesn't have too many. Focusing on T2 air, a huge amount of build power on this. And some T2 engines in there as well. So he's gonna get some rating done. His commander's just kind of milling back and forth. He doesn't really have a plan for it, it seems. He hasn't got an upgrade. He moved down here didn't actually raid this, didn't take this position and just got raided here instead, so... Next could use his commander a bit better. Oh. This strange micro there. But he has the numbers. And these gunships are doing some good raiding. Mexes are dying fast. 
You can easily kill this. Oh, I hear, I hear a flak. So, time to move away. Here's one here as well. This position is dead. This position, nicely defended with a T2 support factory, will be difficult to use gunships up here because of the flak reinforcements. I feel like I'm missing a huge amount of stuff. Oh no, these gunships. are going to die I think no they escape managed to dodge some flag rounds and this one will fall all the rest of them very low HP so excellent rating these mechs is dead these mechs is dead these mechs is dead these mechs is dead so definitely very useful uh, air control there and exploited quite well. Tia so just didn't have the flex in position. He was a bit late with them. Now he's forced to be running around with a lot of ground based AA. When he had the earlier air control advantage. So. Good play by Nexus to switch it up and uh, show the advantage of having a lot of NGs in your base. You can just move from factory to factory, change the focus of his strategy as he went for early T2 land and then took air control by using a very big number of energy, uh, NGs on this one T2 air factory, forcing TA to react. And uh, Tia just wasn't quick enough. But he has regained his maxes. If we look at the eco though, I think Nex has taken a decisive advantage there. Decisive lead. 3 T2 maxes for Tia. Nexus with 7. So. Definitely a strong advantage. But the land forces are very limited. You probably should have this commander in a more advanced position because he has few land units at the moment. TA has built a sub, I guess, after he saw the commander here, decided this would keep him out of the water and give him some opportunity. Snipe possibly, but uh, Nex is feeling quite safe and move back safe in his advantage. Okay, so loyalist plan for TA. I know Nexus is already, oh, he already has T3 land. Loyalist for him as well. And T2 trans, maybe a bit late. Could have had it out by the time he had his uh, loyalist done, but it's gonna be finished now. He can drop a couple of loyalists somewhere, perhaps in this position. Maybe he could be real ballsy and try and get here, but I don't think that's too possible. Flex tanking lots of damage with its Rhino, but it's not gonna matter. Mm, yeah, that's one habit I think everyone should have is uh, to always give the move order back for your transport after you send it. Not only does it save the transport, but uh, you'll also get a queue for uh, your drop when you see your transport returning and 
Maybe you forgot about the drop and then you... You'll realize and remember when you see it returning home. So, not a great drop there. Mostly just mass donation. T2 Transit's quite expensive, you don't really want to throw those away. 300 mass, 12k power. Not the cheapest. Well, in fact... Yeah, not the most expensive, but uh... Almost. And a T3 support factory in the front expansion. More loyalists. A Sam, just in case. Always nice to have a Sam. They are expensive. But I can save her whole. 800 mass, I mean, it's, it's quite a lot. A couple of loyalists almost, but uh. It's gonna defend any against any air units that come to your base. It has so much HP, they're not gonna be able to get rid of it. Now we've loyalists fighting rhinos. Don't really like the problem with using loyalists versus rhinos. I mean they do win. They win well, but the loyalists can't actually dodge anything, which is an important strength of it. But, uh, not versus rhinos, you can't dodge at all, obviously, thanks to the lasers. But still, they win quite handily. This gesture is not going to be able to stop this raid. can barely catch up to the loyalist to shoot at it there. So he was not shooting for quite a while. Jay isn't moving into these mexes. Or Nexus isn't moving into these mexes. I'm not sure why. I mean, he has T2 mex to target there. These could be an upgrade considering this one is T2. They're not, but uh, it's certainly possible. They're raiding in the back. With gunships, they'll take far too long to get through that shield with just three gunships and they get taken out. T1, T2 and T3 in this army. Remnants of previous phases of the game being used as a bit of fodder. Mostly it's down to the loyalists in this group though. So next is being Quite aggressive here, I mean, units running across here, and units in this position. TA is stuck in his base. Trying to catch up an eco now. While well, Nex gets those storages around. In fact, he hasn't done it in his main base, but only in his uh, expansion, and that's T3 air. Did I miss him rassing? No, I didn't. He didn't RAS. He got T3PJ instead. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure why that is. I think he should have gone for RAS. He really just, just should do that. It's just better. I mean, maybe if he wanted stealth. Now he's getting RAS. Okay. I was thinking maybe he had stealth and he didn't want to get rid of it. He wanted to stay really safe from snipes, but doesn't actually have stealth. Now he's trying to push in. This could be serious mass donation. Now he pulls out, retreats and regroups. The commander is coming back to defend. That's just a T1, unupgraded commander. Gun on that would be pretty handy. Not very expensive at this stage of the game. Certainly very useful. If you can overcharge a couple of loyalists, it's basically worth it. Now we have a T3 support factory on the top and uh, idle T2 support factory. Bricks, lone treb, that can be picked off quite easily. 
Hmm. So TA, as usual, has a huge reclaim advantage. There's one thing TA can do: it's reclaim mass on the map. It's extremely rare that I ever out reclaim him. See Nexus even doing some manual reclaim, but still, he has no chance to catch up to this. 34k to 14k. Maybe it's all those NGs he makes to reclaim that gives him such terrible UI like. These two mexes are upgrading. But I don't think he's in range. Is he ground firing or oh he's attacking a wall, that's unfortunate. Well they'll be gone in a couple of shots, so I don't think I've seen the strap bomber. Could be that I've missed it, but I'm not sure. I don't think I have. So, just went T3 air and just is making ASF. Don't agree with that at all. I mean, what's the point? It's very little offensive air. Four gunships. This transport is not in use. Could definitely get some good drops, could drop in this position oh but unfortunately TA is thrown in the towel UI leg -like strikes again it's no longer playable that's a that's a classic TA line well apologies for the anti-climax but certainly Nexus had a serious advantage wasn't over by any means, but definitely wasn't looking good for TA. So GG, let's go into game two of this best of five.